And with the number of coronavirus cases in the U.S. topping more than 1,000, government officials are stepping up measures to combat the spread of the outbreak. In New York, the city suburb of New Rochelle, the state announced a one-mile wide containment area. That's where CBS 4's Tom Hansen is live with the latest. Tom? Hey there, Mary Bell. Well, here's how it all works. That entire containment zone spans an area of about three square miles. People are free to come and go as they please, but large gatherings are banned. It's all in an attempt to contain the spread. Commuters at the New Rochelle train station went to work Wednesday morning, a day before a one mile containment area goes into effect. Some who live just outside the targeted area are anxious. Talk about washing your hands and everything. I feel like a doctor. I've been washing my hands so much. New Rochelle has more than 100 cases of coronavirus. To stop the spread, schools within the one mile area will close for two weeks, and the National Guard will deliver food to homes and help clean public spaces. Houses of worship and community centers in the area will also close, but local businesses such as grocery stores can remain open. It is very important to clarify that this is not an exclusion or quarantine zone. No one is prohibited from entering or leaving the area. This does not affect individual homeowners or families or businesses. In Washington state, where the virus has killed at least 20 people at one nursing home, the governor is set to ban gatherings of more than 250 people in the Seattle metro area. Many nurses unions are concerned with the shortage of specialized masks known as N95 respirators. The CDC issued new guidelines saying that loose fitting surgical masks are an acceptable alternative. We don't have the right protective supply for the front line, which are the medical personnel out there. This is a big problem. Georgetown University announced it is joining the growing number of schools and universities suspending in person classes until further notice. And now where we are, this is one of the hardest hit spots in the entire country. One thing that you're going to see tomorrow popping up testing centers where people can go to see whether or not they have been infected. And I should note the man that is linked to this outbreak or believed to be linked to this outbreak did travel through Florida. That trip was in February. Mary Bell, Carla.